Kingdom Come Deliverance. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of the developer. Kingdom Come Deliverance is a story-driven open-world RPG that immerses you in an epic adventure in the Holy Roman Empire. Avenge your parents' death as you battle invading forces, go on game-changing quests and make influential choices. Yes guys, a lot of people have been waiting for this game. Um, I've been in the beta of this for about a year, but I never played it very much because I found the beta very piss poor to be honest. I didn't like the combat, uh, it ran like shit and I just thought I was I was kind of deflated because I wanted something that was chivalry like and uh, I didn't get it. So anyway the game dropped and um, I started playing it and I've played it now for 17.6 hours and I am nowhere near finished the game yet but I am in a good position to tell you whether or not it's worth a buy. And can I just say that I've watched some of the reviews of this game and they are so piss poorly informed that they are a f***ing disgrace. So take it from me guys, watch this review all the way through and you will have a total understanding of what you're going to get if you pay your money and buy this game. I want to start with the story. This is one of the best stories that I've ever seen in a game. It is just phenomenally good. There are shit tons of cutscenes in this, and I hate cutscenes, but to be honest with you, most of the cutscenes in this I tolerated with, I, I, just, I could have skipped them, you can skip them, but I didn't want to because I was so engrossed in the protagonist and his story. Um, it's set in 1405, I think it is in Bohemia, and that's pretty much where the Czech Republic is these days, and you play Henry. He loses his family to invading forces and pretty much a civil war has erupted in his country and the way he escapes is so exciting in fact the, the, the prologue to this game is three hours long before you even get the credits starting and there's a shit ton of cutscenes in it but honestly watch it all just watch it all because you'll get so engrossed in it once the prologue's out the way you are living the life of Henry and obviously there's quests, there's main quests and side, side quests to go off on but the thing that I want to emphasize the most about this game is don't look at it like any other game because this isn't really like any other game that I've ever played. And I mean that. This is probably groundbreaking, this game. I would, I would have to say that. The reason I say that is because, well, first of all, it's a, it's a terrific RPG. There's no fantasy in this. There's no monsters. There's no dragons. You're not going to, you know, get eaten by a wyvern or anything like that. It's purely down to realism this game this is living the real life and as i started to play the game yeah i ranted a bit at first I, there was too many cutscenes for me but the story was developing at such a pace that i got so engrossed in it so engrossed in the characters of it the voice acting is brilliant and then it's awful some of the characters are shit but the vast majority of them are good and i got so into it it, it made sense it is very well done. It the, the story makes sense. Everything about it makes sense. Things were happening. I'm thinking, yeah, that, that makes total sense. That's what I'd do. And I found this happening all the time. Bumping into some amazing characters. The priest is fucking hilarious. I, I don't think I've ever enjoyed myself on a quest chain as much in the game as I did with the, this crazy fucking priest guy. He's he's hilarious. It, I was laughing me tits off all the way through. We did everything in that quest. We did whoring, we did fist fights, we got pissed as rats, we even impersonated sheep in a fucking field in the middle of the night. It was just hilarious. So the story is great and I'm living the life of Henry in this. Now what I mean by that, and this is really important guys, this next bit is really important because what I think the developers have done with this game it's not about going out and on quests all the time. Live the life of Henry. What would you do if you were in them days? You, you can't use a sword. You can't use a bow and arrow. You're shit at it. You've never used a bow and arrow. You're a blacksmith's son. You haven't a f***ing clue how to use a sword or a bow and arrow. So you've got to practice. That's what this game is about. It's like, hey, you're shit. You've got a shit sword. You've got a sh Well, you don't even have a sword. You've got this kind of, like, butcher's cleaver thing. You've got shit clothes. You've got no protection, you've got shit skills, you can't do shit with a sword, you can't fire a bone arrow to save your life, so what are you going to do? I'm looking for him too. What are you going to do? You're going to practice. 
So enter tournaments, enter competitions with the bow and arrow, earn some coin while you're doing it, go and practice with your sword. And I'm going to come on to the combat now. The combat in this game is very, very hard. I mean, you think Dark Souls is hard? <laughs> Good hell. Dark Souls is tiddlywinks compared to the combat in this game. You will get your ass handed to you constantly in this game until you get what the developers are trying to tell you. And that is practice. Do what you would do in real life. I learned that the hard way by getting my ass handed to me in this quest. Uh, these two guys in a wood were just kicking my ass. Couldn't do it. And I was so frustrated and I was just, oh, this game sucks. It's fucking shite. And then I just thought, ah, maybe I have to live the life of the guy. So I went all the way back to the town. And I went to this guy and I said, look, can you teach me how to sword fight? And, he's, and I'd already done the sword fighting tutorial. So I knew the basics. But this guy said, yeah, yeah. And so we got sparring with wooden swords. And... I was learning. I was learning how to block. I was learning how to parry. I was learning how to feign. I was learning how to dodge. I was learning all these skills and I was unlocking skill abilities as well because the more you do something, the better you get at it. The less shaky you'll become, the quicker you'll be able to block, the more power you'll get into your blocks to do full blocks and that. But you can only do it by doing it. So practice with the guy for hours if you need to. I reckon you probably have to do about half to an hour half an hour to an hour irl just practicing with the guy to get good at this game and that's where i am at this at the minute i'm learning all that i can hold me on a little bit but i'm still shit i've bought myself a long sword i've got better gear i've got a decent helmet now well shit let's be honest but better than what you start with and i can take out bandits with ease now i can pretty much because they, they can't harm me as much and i can do more damage to them and i've learned a, a nice little combo that suits the long sword i've specced into long sword the archery is a lot better i'm winning archery competitions i'm getting bullseyes whereas before i couldn't even hit the fucking target i was like shaky mcshake when i picked it up i was just like all over the place my hands were shaking i was just missing everything but i've learned and I've, i'm a lot more steadier now on the bow you know I, I hunted a lot of rabbits and i practiced like that as well and that's what you have to do you got to live the life of henry in this game yes there's bugs and i'm going to come to the bugs there's a couple of bugs on the horse riding he's one hilarious one where i tried to jump a fence and my horse just got stuck in this real weird position because i was shit i mean that's a bug obviously in the animations but i was shit at riding a horse so you know what i did I spent an hour riding my horse and I've leveled up loads of stuff with my horse and I'm really good on the horse now. I mean, I'm jumping over everything now. It's just, I'm jumping over everything for fun. It's all about leveling up everything. You shit at everything. You've got to get it that you shit at everything. I can't emphasize, you can't even read. And the way this game progresses is great. I'm learning to read from a scribe. I was uncovering this murder and the murderer had wrote on a wall. I could see that what was on the wall, but my protagonist, my character couldn't. He couldn't read it, so I had to go and learn to read. It's such a f***ing great game in the way it's put together as an RPG that you have to learn everything. It's just like you, you, you're a moron. You know nothing about anything, and you spend the game learning. And the more you learn, the better you become, which in real world makes it easier. So the more you practice sword fencing, the easier it is when you're in a fight. That's the thing. You've got to make a lot of coin at the, at the same time as that in order to buy weapons and, and everything else. So you have to do some quests, but splitting your time between questing and living Henry's life is the way to do it. To spoil the game, because it sounds great so far, to spoil all that, it is riddled with bugs. That is a big problem. The stairs that I couldn't get up very well. I got up them eventually, but I couldn't really get up. And there's people I've seen with no heads on. I've sent one of my um, patrons sent me a screenshot uh, where they've all got no heads, which was quite funny. There's the horse animation that I mentioned where he was stuck on the fence. I've seen quest bugs, I've seen uh, looting bugs, I've seen all kinds of bugs in this game, a few animation bugs like I've mentioned. And so, yes, there are bugs in this game, but bugs can be patched. And that's the great thing about it, bugs can be patched. If you're not really wanting to buy into a buggy game, then just wait. Just wait until the patch that they've already released a huge patch on day one i think it was 20 gigs worth of patch on day one the graphics need to be optimized better as well it looks absolutely gorgeous this game the attention to detail pretty much everywhere i've been is just incredible it really is incredible and the music's great as well by the way but let's go back to the graphics here um they look great i'm running with everything on and i'm getting 60 frames a second with drops Sometimes it drops to right down to 30 frames a second. 
Um, I've had frame drops uh, in the cities a few times, but nothing that's really made me think, oh, I can't play this. It's like, yes, I get frame drops, but they're, they're not huge all the time. Uh, they're very rare that it drops down to 30. It's normally just like spiking around, like dropping it from 50 to 60 and back up again. So yes, it needs optimization. And they've said, yes, they're gonna optimize it a bit better, but it is still playable. It's Of course it is, it's well playable. And like I said, the sounds is great. The voices is great most of the time. There is a few that are bad. Uh, the music's great as well. It's It's just a very, very good game to play. But, like I say, it has all these bugs that's going to put some of you off. I mean, it puts me off. I f***ing hate the bugs and there's too many cutscenes as well. As much as I love the story, and it is a brilliant story, sometimes there's just a few too many cutscenes. And as well, there's too many loading screens. When I check my map, there's a loading screen. When I go to the pot, there's a loading screen, like the pot to eat. And you have to eat. You do alchemy. You do everything that you do. Uh, seems to have a little tiny loading screen which is so damn annoying every conversation you have has a bit of a loading screen also let's talk about the save games i hate the way the save game's been implemented it saves every time you sleep on a bed and but if you want to sa save outside of that you have to buy these schnapps um, portions which aren't cheap i think they're about 70 gold each i can't remember but they aren't cheap and it just ruins the game that i have to buy one of these to save the game i mean what the f People have complained that the game has crashed. I've never had a crash yet, by the way. And I would hate to think that I'd had a crash and I'd lost an hour's play because sometimes you can easily be away from a bed for an hour doing a quest because time moves quite slowly through the day. And sometimes I've been out through the day, through the night and through the day again because of the kind of quest that I've been on. So I haven't had anywhere to save. Now, if I died in that time, I would have lost all that hour of play. I mean, that's bullshit. I don't like that. Now, I know why they've done it, because they want you to be responsible for your actions and live by your actions, which I love, because I'm a bastard in this game. I mean, one of the things I did in this game, just to tell you the kind of character my guy is, I was chasing this robber down. Uh, he was being chased off a shopkeeper. The shopkeeper was shouting, stop him, thief, stop him. So I rode after him, I stopped him, I beat him up a bit, got the ring off him, give it to the shopkeeper, and then the, the robber rang off, and the shopkeeper was a bit, you know, I didn't like him, I just didn't like his face. And so I looked around and there was no one near, so I ran him through and stole everything he had. And nobody knows I did it. But, and this is the big where the RPG elements kick in again, I have to be careful where I sell that stolen stuff. If I sell it near where he lived, people will recognise that it was his, and then I'm in deep, deep shit. And this is a proper RPG. It's not like Witcher 3 where you can walk into people's houses and start stealing. Hey, you can't even walk into people's houses in this. If you walk into someone's house, it'll say, hey, you're trespassing. You've got you to gotta get out there within about two or three seconds or you're in deep shit because they'll call guards on you or they'll attack you themselves. So you have to be very careful what you're doing. And you certainly can't steal in front of people. This is, a, this is why I love it. It's a proper, proper, proper RPG with proper consequences for your actions. The immersion is off the scale until a bug happens. Uh, lock picking is another one that's getting on people's tits. The lock picking in this game, um, I use, um, well, let's say I used Wasad, I don't use TGFH, which is superior. We'll talk about that in another video. But Wasad and the mouse, okay? So if you want to lockpick, you have to move your mouse around until you see a little gold ball appear. That's the sweet spot of the lock. Once you've got that, you then press, well, it would be D if you're on Wasad, which will rotate the lock, which will rotate the gold bit. So you have to keep your mouse on the gold bit and rotate that at the same speed as the lock's rotating. It's quite hard. It's quite hard. And um, if you do it wrong, you have a chance to snap the lockpick. So people are complaining about that because apparently it's hard to do on a controller. A mouse and keyboard then. But overall, guys, I have to say, I am thoroughly enjoying this game. Bugs aside and, and all of that stuff, and I don't like the lock-on combat. I really don't. I'm struggling with more than two people. Sometimes I struggle with two people if they're, if they're quite good. Um, but I'm, I'm nowhere near good at the combat yet, but I know I can be good at it. I, I'm at that point where I'm like, I know I'm going to be good at this combat if I practice enough. It's the pennies dropped for me with the combat. So... You know, I would have still liked it to be unlock on. You can switch the lock on off if you hold down a key on your keyboard, but it shouldn't be on in the first place. I'd much rather have a, a more a, a cross between chivalry and mountain blade with the combat, but hey ho, you can't have everything in life. But as an RPG, it's simply stunning to play. So I'm gonna say this, buyer beware. It's a very deep, hard game. 
It has very stringent RPG rules that can f*** you up big time. It has limited saves, it has hard combat. It's going to take a lot of patience, a lot of perseverance, but it is so rewarding to play if you are prepared to put in the hours, get the practice and live the life of Henry. Because it's more of a way of life than a game this, and that's how you've got to approach this game. It's a way of life. You should be getting immersed into the character and doing what you would do. It's not about just speed running through the f***ing quests. It's about enjoying the character, living the world, doing some romance, doing a little bit of exploring, checking the treasure maps out, exploring the world, trying to find stuff, practice, practice, practice your archery, practice your sword play, discover what works best for you, whether it's an axe, a short sword, a long sword, spec into all that, practice your horse riding, all of these things, and live the life of Henry, and you will get a big, big reward for playing this. It's definitely a thumb up from me, and now I'm off to play it my way. I've done my review. I know I haven't got massively far into the game, but I've done enough to know that it's well worth the f***ing money if you play it properly. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive fur, while Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen.